Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a different world of magic in this story than most that you see. Now, usually in fantasy you see magic being portrayed as in forms of just like, oh, let's say Merlin or Gandalf from The Lord of the Rings. Or sorcery, sorcery is like wands, spells, charms, and all that, and all that crazy stuff. Well, it's not quite the way it works here in the world of Dark Ronin. Dark Ronin, when it comes to magic, is more a intellectual tool. It's based on words, thoughts, ideas, and language. In this world, the gods created the world that we inhabit through speaking. The world was brought to the existence through the script, so to speak, of the gods. They spoke it out, it happened. And, lo and behold, the world was not much different than you would find in the Bible, only it's a dual god. Two gods, not one. One male and one female. Which both represent mother and father. Which is the name of the gods in every language. It translates to mother or father. Now, when it comes to using magic, in the time before the war, the angels walked among men, demons walked among men, and magic was around all the time. The angels were using magic, the demons were using magic, angels were teaching magic to some of the humans who are smart enough and powerful enough to handle the strain and the sheer magnitude of the power that words, thoughts, and ideas actually possess. In order to use magic, you have to understand fully what you are attempting. You have to understand what can go right, what can go wrong, in every scenario it can be used or cannot be used. It is very, very tedious in preparation because in order to use magic you have to absorb as much knowledge as, well, in the case of humans, humanly possible. You have to know quite a lot. Not just about magic, but about everything. The world, people, angels, demons, how things work, uh, nature itself, the laws of the land, and not just talking about, uh, policemen here, we're talking about the laws of physics, laws of everything that govern life. The understanding of the life allows you to utilize magic to its fullest potential if your intentions are made clear, precise, and you fully understand it. So this is what makes this part of this story rather unique. Now language is kind of in two forms on earth for humans. You got voice and you got the written language. Reading and writing and speaking. So man's power with voice and of writing brings forth the major saying that everybody uses even today that the pen is mightier than the sword. The 
the use of language in appropriate ways will get you beneficial results. Use of magic in dark means will get you horrendous results. But you won't get any results at all if you literally do not fully understand what you are doing. So in the case of having Vex pop in as the sorceress, makes sense here. Since, after the war, angels and demons were sealed away from being able to fully affect human beings. Of course, this did not affect beings such as Vex, the last lesser angel, or the many still remaining lesser demons, considering that both lesser demons and lesser angels are both part human, and therefore to seal off them wouldn't entirely work because the human elements still remain. And how lesser angels and lesser demons manage to remain is the fact of their humanity, or part of them is human. They still have human emotions, they still have a human mind, they still have a human body, and still have to a certain degree, human faults and failures. However, unlike humans, they're about closer to about three times stronger than humans when it comes to damage. They can dish out a lot of damage, and they can take just as much damage, which makes it very hard to kill a lesser demon and a lesser angel. Now why is there only one lesser angel left? There was one left because most of the lesser, lesser angels died in the war. But the remainder, except one, got invited to the heavenly realm. So, one remained. Vex. The guardian. The one female angel, well, lesser angel, to handle this deal. Angels Unlike lesser angels, know everything. They know the future before it happens, and they know the past. They know everything. They know everything that the gods did. As to the earth, from the moment they were conceived onto this earth. Before they were conceived, they have no knowledge. However, they understand the gods. They can commune with the gods. Even though the gods no longer commune with the earth. Vex, therefore, has a choice. And she made it. She chose to stay. She loved her human heritage. She loved her world. She didn't want to leave. Which made her perfect as a guardian. For only one who could love this earth as a lesser demon could protect it. And the best way for her to be able to protect it is to understand humans as well as a human. And being human, that's beneficial. Now, when it comes to the magic that you will see demonstrated within this series, it all comes from three sources. One, the game wheel, which you already know about. 
that the game wheel opened up, like I mentioned before, two weapons for her. The book of games, which explains the contract and everything relating to the contract, as it is and still is ongoing. And the other is the book of knowledge, which allows her to have the knowledge of everything under the sun up to the moment she is standing there and as it unfolds. Because both these books are ongoing, they're self-writing. They write as it exists. As it comes into existence, it comes under the book. And these tools help her understand everything up to that point. But everything after that point depends on the team. And the team is what makes the real magic happen in this story. And as you will see, that although humans don't weave magic like angels or demons, they have a magic all of their own. Love, relationships, intelligence, and ego. But most of all, they have free will. Unlike angels and demons, they follow their created instincts. They are highly sentient, but they only make choices within what is allowable to them. Humans make choices whether they make sense or not. So, we will continue on the next one with weapons. And the weapons of choice for this game, outside of the human weapons, are forged to steel, except for vexes. And we'll get to those soon enough. That is our top signing off.